I have been having Ninja Creamy ice cream for breakfast a lot of time, and I thought I'd show you how it works out. So this is a lemon meringue, and I just make it like I make a keto chow and then pour it in. So it's not a full serving because it's not quite as much as, as a keto chow would be, but I'm okay with that because I still get full. Um, and it's, it's uh, funny when people start doing using the creamy, they notice that they get this funny bulge in the middle. That doesn't matter. What matters is that um, if it's not like bulging on the side, it's, it's just bulging in the middle and that's fine. So let me show you how to do this really quick. Okay, here's the little, little blade thing. And then this also right here, you have to wipe this off every time you use it or it'll get super gross. And then you also have to, when you're done, pop this out. Otherwise it'll get gross in here. So you wanna wash the whole thing, wash this part, well, pop this part out um, to wash it. Otherwise it's not gonna be good. So it, it aligns with these little bottom things, super easy. Um, and then you just put the top on and it just kind of slides into place. Clicks into place. And then, so I turn it on and then I just turn it up into here and all of the settings come on. And like we said a million times, we only use a couple of the settings. I use the light ice cream and I use the respin and I use the mix-ins. And today I thought it'd be fun to just put a couple of strawberries in with my lemon because that sounded yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the light ice cream. I know that this is not gonna be good enough, but it won't let me just turn it back on again unless I take it off. So I have to push this button to take this thing off and I'll show you what it looks like now. It kind of looks like little powder. I am gonna go ahead and put it back in again for a respin because I want it to be creamier. Okay, so I have to push this button again to release it. Come down. If it's still hard, then I can do it again. See, that's a lot different texture. It's still kind of clumpy. I haven't uh, ever got a little, that little ball before, but look if you can see like how it's kind of, it is kind of creamy, it's creamier. So this is probably good enough for what I usually use. So what I'm gonna do is, what happens is when the, the little blade thing goes down, makes this little hole in the middle. And so I like to take the stuff out of the middle and put my mix-ins right in the middle. And then let it go again. Okay, should be done now. Push the button, pull it out. Take it off. Oh, that looks good. Look how yummy that looks. And if I was at work, I would just eat it right out of the container. But since I'm home, I'm gonna see how, show you how creamy it is. Look how, look at that, it's like soft ice cream. It's so pretty. Lemon, strawberry, ice cream. Perfect. It's yummy. We love, we love the Ninja Creamy. It looks like you can't like ha see how this is pink on the inside and this is white on the outside. It, you typically will have a little bit of um, like ice crystals or whatever on the outside, but it's not as much as your regular ice cream maker. And depending on how long it sits on the counter, it might be worse or better. Usually if you take it right out of the freezer, then it, it does good. Time for lunch. I mean breakfast, time for breakfast. Mm -hmm.